Many of us live the American dream. We own our own homes, which are nicely situated on a sizable parcel of land. We invest time and expense to customize our homes and to make them as environmentally efficient as possible. But what about the rest of the property? Having a well-kept lawn with grass is an all-American way to go. But many people these days are questioning how much lawn they really need to maintain. When asked why they have so much grass, many people with large lawns respond because it came with the house. You know, whether your lawn is there by accident, by design, or you just inherited from the previous owner or builder, there are other options for your property. Did you know that this large expanse of space can be transformed into natural areas that are rich in recreation? Wildlife and water quality and can save you valuable time and money. I would like to introduce you to something called natural succession. Natural succession by definition is the predictable change and replacement of natural areas over time. For example, if you were just to stop mowing a portion of your lawn, woody shrubs and trees will seed into the unmowed grass and create diverse habitat for wildlife. With time, the crowns of the trees will grow and expand, shade out the grass and the ground underneath, and develop into a mature woodland. It's that simple. And with the average American spending hundreds of dollars and countless hours every year maintaining their lawn, knowing your options can save you a lot of time and money while being a better steward for the environment. Ready to get started? Well, there's no experience necessary. The manual and the workbook, the woods in your backyard, will guide you. The woods in your backyard provides a common sense approach to enhancing existing natural areas and converting lawn area to new natural areas. It's a self-assessment manual developed to help landowners learn about their property, its potential, and make informed decisions that impact water quality, wildlife, recreation, and forest health. It can also help you find professionals to assist in your efforts. This manual isn't just for those of you with lawns that would like to transform into natural areas. It's also for those who already own woodlands, but aren't aware of the possibilities that they hold. For example, are you aware of your woodland's potential for family recreation and enjoying wildlife habitat? Or do you know how to manage threats to your woodland, such as invasive species, damaging insects, diseases, and overabundant deer populations? Perhaps you'd like to learn how to build a trail or thin your woods and get some firewood. All of these questions and more are covered in the woods in your backyard. So instead of facing this scenario, imagine you and your family enjoying an outdoor sanctuary custom made for revitalizing physical and mental health, a place for wonder and discovery.